Hey everyone, it's Dylan. We're back again for another week here in the shop. Uh, I think I mentioned it a little bit last week, but we sold uh, another custom cabinet. This one we're going to be working on is actually a liquor cabinet. So if you guys weren't subscribed to us back when we built this cabinet, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a, an explanation on what it is and some details of it. So this is all completely solid walnut. And then for the fronts, the door fronts and the drawers on this cabinet, we've done black resin with walnut burl. And it was all made in a single pour, so that means that the doors match the drawers. Uh, and it just gives really nice continuity throughout the whole piece. And then literally every component of this cabinet is solid walnut. Even the drawers, the bottoms of the drawers, the back of the cabinet, the gables, the shelves, it's all solid walnut. Uh, so we're doing a similar style cabinet for our client here that we're doing the liquor cabinet for, except this one's going to be maple, uh, but it will have a walnut resin river front. So we're going to show you guys the beginning stages of that this week. And we're also going to be finishing up the furniture package for the Marriott. Finally, we're finally done. It's been a while, but we've got it all set up for photos and then we're going to get it shipped out to Oregon next week. Right, so we're just starting on a new cabinet that we're building here now. Uh, custom cabinet here about six feet tall 30 inches wide nice wine cabinet uh, gonna have a resin river table front all sequential pieces uh, lower drawers with doors uh, drawers in the bottom a little wine rack set up for your bottles etc here then we've actually prepared our components now these are the two gables we're gonna be gluing these together and we've used our glue joint cutter we're going to be using tight bond 3 glue as well too, just to give us the strongest possible lamination that we can make, you guys. We could get by with a butt joint, but we always try to go the next step to do the best job that we can. Okay, so then what Brad has got set up here, this is actually a little uh, kind of prototype sample for the cabinet construction. So this long piece here would be one of our gables, then we'd have our top, middle, and bottom components. And the joinery is what's the really interesting part. So I'll. I'll actually see if I can slide. All right, so here's our dovetail. Here's the joint. This is all cut on the CNC, and I'll show you how it kind of goes together here. What there is, is sliding dovetail construction, so this joint actually continues all the way down the length of the shelf. Um, we actually haven't really seen this used before, this is something that Brad kind of just came up with, but let us know if you guys have used this or have seen it done before, because uh, I don't know, I like the look of it, it's pretty unique. now is all the finishing stages of the Marriott table. So I mentioned the beginning of the video, you guys saw way back in a few, uh, few videos back that we did the pour around these really, really cool uh, kind of spalted uh, maple burl slabs. So those are all finished up, ready to go. Um, we've got the steel plates that showed up for the legs, so we've got to kind of assemble the legs, clamp all of that together. And the, the maple burl tables, the legs on those actually weigh like, in total, I think it's like 600 pounds, just the base on that table, so it's kind of ridiculously heavy, but they're very nice tables.
are getting ready to assemble the table bases for those maple burl tables for the Marriott. So we just picked up the walnut pieces from Jekko. Uh, they got everything all uh, finished up for us. And we're just assembling the bases right now. Uh, unfortunately, some of the steel is kind of, the coating on the steel is flaking off, so we're just gonna have to sand this edge clean. Uh, and then we are just using, you can actually see John doing it right now, we're just using PL400 in the, the grooves there to hold those steel plates in. So the reasoning why we're doing solid steel plates is simply just for weight. The Marriott doesn't want these tables to be able to tip over. So like each base is about 250 pounds. explain to you how they're going to get used in the hotel. Uh, so these are two communal tables that I think are going to go in the M Club Lounge. So their M Club Lounge is kind of this uh, exclusive lounge they have in the hotel that I guess you have to be a member of to go in that area. So that's where these two tables are going to be. And they both have holes cut in them where there's going to be power boxes going in. And then in the base, if we go down below, we've got some steel set up for our power integration. So there's little holes here in the tops of both of these steel plates and a cable tray that will allow wires to go back and forth between the two legs. And then this table here, the half lug table, this is a, another communal table, but this is gonna go into more public space, I believe. Still a beautiful, beautiful piece. This is actually a premium slab of Clara Walnut that we got from GL Veneer. So it's highly, highly figured all the way through. And it's actually two slabs that are laminated together. And if we go underneath again, there's more power integration on this table. So it actually features a hinged magnetic door. So there'll be more power conduits coming up through the floor. Another detail on the bottom is all of these holes uh, with the, the hardware you can actually see right inside there. And what that's for is to attach the table back together. Um, this table, it's kind of hard to even notice, but it is cut right in half. So there's a slight, slight seam right here in the middle. Uh, and the reason we had to do this is so it could actually fit in the freight elevator because this is going on a second floor in the hotel. We wanted to build it in one piece, but it just wouldn't fit. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Um, kind of funny right now, we're in the pour room and there's all these molds that are completely empty with no, no resin poured in them. So. I mentioned last week that the resin was supposed to be showing up sometime this week. Uh, it is still showing up this week. Uh, today is Friday and it's literally on a truck right now 
on its way to our shop. So that means next week we're going to be doing all three of these pours. So that's going to be in next week's video. Uh, we've got a cool pour we're doing on the liquor cabinet, kind of this little Canadian maple leaf is getting poured. Uh, but if you guys could, leave a like on the video. It, whenever we ask you guys to leave a like, you always do, and it actually really helps us out a lot, so we really appreciate that. So go do that right now, uh, and we will see you guys next week. Thank you for watching the video. Yeah. So we were, we were kind of concerned that like, oh, it might have been from changing our 